Hello friends, in this video let us learn list of parameters which affects the quality of additive manufacture component. This picture shows the object building of FDM technology. Here the material is deposited layer over layer to construct an object. The raw material will be form of plastic wire. It is melted and deposited over the bed. Let us see the control parameters. Layer height, raster width, air gap, extrusion temperature, print speed, travel speed, infill density, infill pattern and build orientation. These are the nine important parameters which affect the quality and the strength of additive manufactured component. This is the machine bed. The layers are deposited one over another. The height of single layer is called layer height and the width of single layer is called layer width. Here in FDM technology, the cross section of the nozzle will be in the form of circular shape. While it is compress the previous layer and deposit the current layer, it will in the cross section will be in the form of ellipse. Here the metal is deposited one over another. So in subsequent layer, there will be a gap in between the layer. That is called air gap. In case of FDM technology, the raw, raw material will be in the form of plastic wire. It is heated and melted, deposited over the bed. Here the temperature is a control factor. In case of SLS technology, laser source is a control factor. In case of SLA technology, UV rays is a control factor. Now printing speed. How fast the material is deposited over the bed? That is called print speed. Now the nozzle is at the position 1. It is depositing the layer and moves to the position 2. How fast it is moving from one position to another position? That is called travel speed. Now I want to fabricate a component of a 50 millimeter cube. It may be a demo model or it may be a functional model or it may be a showcase model, right? So the object out looking only I want to view. So I can go for the infill density of 10%. Now you can see here the outlook will be in the, fem, uh, in the form of record shape, but the material is infilled only very, very less amount. That is a 10 percentage of amount only will be filled. Okay, if you set the value 10%, only 10% amount only will be filled into the component. In case you want to increase the strength, you can go for the infill density increment. For example, if you set the value of 50% infill density, you can see here only 50% of void space will be there. If you want to make the component fully functional model, there should not be a wide space. You can go for 100% infill density. If you keep the value of 100% infill density, there will not be a wide space into the component. It may be a functional component. Next, infill pattern. To improve the strength, infill pattern also an important factor. For example, you see this picture, there is a hexagon infill. It's a honeycomb st structure. It gives the more strength to the component if you give the less than 100% of infill. For example, if you keep the 10% of infill, the infill pattern you can keep here like this hexane shape or you can go for a trihexane or you can go for 3D structure. You don't want to consider the infill pattern directly you can go for 100% infill density. So the material completely will be filled into the component. Next object orientation. First, I want to make a component like this. Okay, you can keep the component over the bed in position of first position or second one or third one. You can keep any one of method, any one of position like this. If you keep like a first position, there is no need of any support material and it will be filled, it will be printed very fast. In case if you rotate the component like this, there is some overhanging position. So you need to give some support structure. So Additional time will take to build this or else you rotate the component like this. There is more war hanging object. So support material will be filled a lot. So it will take more time to build. So the orientation also an important factor because the material is deposited layer over layer, right? So it, it, it holds a anisotropy property in either direction. In X and Y direction, it can able to withstand more load. In Z direction, uh, strength is depends upon the in-between layer bonding. So it holds very less strength in Z direction. These are the important factors 
affects the additive manufacturing components quality and strength thanks for watching subscribe and share with your friends thank you